guys, this is my Victoria's Secret 2010 Runaway inspired look. I noticed in the past two years that their looks have been more natural. For the lid, I used a peachy gold kind of color, and for the crease, I used a bronzy brown kind of color. I know the Victoria's Secret fashion show was a really long time ago. It was in November 30th, and today is September 16th, but I have a valid reason for not doing it on time. I've been crazy busy. Um, I just wrote two exams last week and I have one more and then I'm done. I'm done on the 20th at 12 p.m. So let's hope for the best. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I wish you all a Merry Christmas because I probably really won't be doing another tutorial until then, until after then. So have fun with your families. And lastly, I'd like to say that the lens on my camera has issues focusing. Even though I set it on autofocus, it's actually not autofocusing. So I'm really blurry at some points. And I'm gonna send the camera, I'm gonna send the lens back into the store to see what's wrong with it. Because it's really annoying. And judging from the comments, it's annoying some of you guys too. So thanks. Bye. Okay, so first I've applied my primer and my foundation. And next I'm gonna go in with my, my eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna use my eyeshadow base by Michael Todd. Okay, so I haven't applied my concealer yet. That's why I have some pretty serious pegs under my eyes. Okay, so for the eyeshadows, I'm going to go cheap with the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. So the base, I'm just going to use this shadow right here. Um, from the left side, it's in the fourth column. And then you just go down. Just going to apply this all over the lid. with this brownish color from my Maybe Coastal Sands Warm Palette and I'm going to put it into the brow bone a little bit just so it shows up more and now I'm just going to blend all those colors out here and it's the called it's called Honey If you think brown is too much for you, you can opt for a more subtle bronzy shade. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Anastasia Eyebrow Express. An eyebrow comb. And use the wax. Next, I'm going to use the angled eyeliner brush and dip into the dark brown and then light brown. And then just fill it in wherever I see any gap. So for this outer corner, I just dragged my flashy liner waterproof black eyeliner across like this. And if you're not comfortable with this, you can use um, an angled eyeliner brush and then use some black liner with it. Just as long as this part is done. And I also did the inner corners because I have pretty white set eyes. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply my eyelashes. And Put on concealer because, yeah. Okay, so now I have my concealer on and my eye and my fake eyelashes, and I'm just going to do contouring and the blush right now. Okay, so for the contouring, I'm going to use my makeup designer and the summer bronzer. So the Victoria's Secret models are pretty contoured, and um, yeah. So first, I'm going to suck in my cheeks. And they were really bronze this year because of the whole California girls thing. So. Yeah. 
And try not to put the bronzer all over your face or else it's gonna look really bad because bronzer oxidized so it gets darker as the day wears on. So I'm just contouring my forehead, like the temples, and a little bit of my nose, a little more cheeks, and yeah, that's it. Okay, if you think you went too much with the blush or with the bronzer, just go over a clean brush over the areas because I think I did some overkill. Yeah. And finally we have the blush and this is by Sephora. It's the Carl Frisson number 5. And they applied it to the apples of the cheeks. So for the lips I'm going to use um, Lipetta 2 Glamour number 19, G19 by Sephora. And And then we're just going to go over that with NARS Turkish Delight. And yes, this is the completed look, the Victoria's Secret Angel. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.